Hey to this is Southern Prepper One. Five months ago, I did a complete review on this Mango E Power, so I'm going to put that link to that video. But I'm going to go over some of the other features that I think are very important. But if you want a complete review, I'll give you the link. I did a review on this unit two months ago. They sent me the extra battery. Uh, everything has worked great for me. I've had no problems. The quality is awesome. The unit is 3.53 kilowatts down in the lower battery and the main compartment. Up here is just the extra battery and that's 3.53. So you're looking at seven kilowatts. This is not a cheap machine. This is a very good quality machine. Uh, this machine is made for, uh, I would say uh, RV. Maybe you have a tiny house you want to power. This is something that you can use every day, power your small tiny house uh, and without having to move a bunch of little panels around. This is a permanent install. This is not going to be moved around. This is not for camping. The bottom is 100 pounds. The top extra battery is 73. So you want to put it somewhere and actually leave it. This is where you step down from if having someone put in a small system for you with all the components. This is if you're looking for that. This could be comparable. This is can be charged up to 2,000 watts of solar. So this unit, you're probably not gonna wanna go with a bunch of folding panels. Uh, don't recommend them. Uh, you wanna go with a lot of panels and you wanna maximize your investment. And with 7,000 watts of power, you'll want to have the panels to support it. This unit can be, you can purchase another bottom unit. You can buy the box and you can attach the two bottom units and you can make uh, 220 volts. So you could power some other things. You could power a dryer, which I don't recommend. You could power definitely, probably the biggest thing people want to do is power their well. So it's 240 split phase, and but you need two units. So your, your cost is very, very high. If you get to doing that or needing to do that, you might need to look at having a professional come out and put in a, a system for you. But if you can't because you're renting or it's just not feasible, you can combine two of the lower boxes, connect it with a special box they sell, and you can then have your 240. Now you can also add, if you want the 240, you can add a box on each one, and then you've gone up to 14 kilowatts, which is huge, that's a lot of power. This would definitely be for a tiny home or for an RV. Now, this has the features of doing quick charging, it has the features of doing a very slow charge of 450 watts. The 450 watts is nice if you want to slowly charge the battery. Now if you need to put as max power into it, the 1600 watts will work for you. Uh, it also uh, has a touch screen. Everything I need to do is on the touch screen. It does come with you in an app. I'm not into apps, uh, but it does have a great app and you can then control a little bit more if you if you want to have that control. So this does have the pass-through features. Um, that will let you charge from the grid or charge from a generator or charge from solar, which would be more realistic. And you can use the power at the same time. So that is a must for any machine. It does have the RV connector, so you can connect your RV. Now, I love having the expanded battery, but the problem is this model only lets you expand with one battery. Now, if you go with two units to get the 240, you, you can have a battery on each one because your cost goes up. Let's hypothetically say the 3,000 watt inverter is plenty for you. You can run a few appliances, and you could probably run a freezer or two in your refrigerator, freezer in your kitchen. It only lets you add one extra battery. So you need to look at that. There's other units out there that lets you add multiple batteries, three or four batteries, to the unit. Um, so, the quality is there. There's no arguing that. The biggest thing I have a problem with is the price. It's expensive. Um, this puts you in the ballpark of all the other companies out there that have big units. Uh, some of those companies have been around for a long time. Mango Power, to my knowledge, has not been around that long. So you need to compare Big units against big units. Don't compare them to a 2,000 watt machine and say, oh, that's too expensive. You're getting 7,000 watts of power. The base unit 
on sale right now is $3,500. You add the extra battery, it brings the total to $6,100. That's a huge investment for most people, huge. Um, but if you need serious power, this is the one to go with. Some people say, Dave, why can't I buy two or three smaller machines? It will have as much power as that. You can do that, that's an option. I'd like that option if I'm not using it every day. As you know, I move power boxes around because my shop in that metal building has no power in it yet. So I have to move machines around and it is a pain every day, checking them, bringing them back to the house, plugging them into grid power or plugging them into solar. So it's doable. The one advantage of having two or three smaller machines is if one of the machines breaks, you're not totally dead. If one part in this machine breaks, you're dead in the water. But if you have three machines that can do 2,000, that's 6,000 watts. Granted, you don't have enough, you don't max the seven, but you have that redundancy in case one breaks, you still have two more. So there's a lot of options. So I will help you pick the right machine out. Mango Power is paying me absolutely nothing. If you use their link and go to it, I make absolutely nothing. So it does not matter to me what machine you buy. But I will be able to help you if you send me an email to southernprepper1 at yahoo.com. We can arrange a time to talk, and I can tell you the pros and cons of this compared to any other model you're looking at, and you can pick the best one for you. The best one for you might not be the best one for your neighbor or for someone else. So I will give you the link to the full review on the Mango. also give you my southernprepper1 at yahoo.com, and we can figure out what is the best machine for you? I appreciate Mango sending me this. It's worked flawlessly, and I appreciate it. Thanks for watching.